Hello guys, what is up? Arm9100 here, and tonight the NFL Draft is happening, and um, so uh, I got a mock draft done all last night, which I promised would be out way before last night, and um, or I, I promised I would have it done before last night, but I, I finished it last night, and uh, we need to dive right into this because by the time I get this edited... It's, it's going to be almost go time, so you're going to have something to watch. This video is probably going to end as soon as the draft starts for you guys seeing it. So, first overall pick, it's not a surprise. The Cleveland Browns are taking Miles Garrett from Texas A&M. Um, he's, he's looked like the top player in the draft ever since we started mocking him here, probably around December or so. Um, Cam Robinson was a guy who we were looking at number one, but it's really been Miles Garrett, Miles Garrett, Miles Garrett. Um, Jamal Adams wouldn't surprise me here because the Browns have some good pass rush and they need secondary help a lot, but it's really Miles Garrett going here. Don't say Trubisky's going here. It's Miles Garrett. Uh, the 49ers, I have them taking Solomon Thomas. Um, I'm, I'd be, I'm sad if I'm my Bengals because if Solomon Thomas falls here at nine, that would be a perfect fit for them. But I, I personally love Solomon Thomas, and I, I think he's going to be a great player on a great developing um, O-line in San Francisco with Eric Armstead, DeForest Buckner, and Solomon Thomas. If, if uh, who, Who's their coach now? Um, Shanahan? I know he's an offensive guy, but if he can develop that D-line, they're going to be dangerous if he can get that offense going. Um, number three overall, uh, the Chicago Bears. Uh, I have. Oop, do not. Yep, let's delete that email. Sorry about these emails. There we go. Um, the 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 Bears. I have them taking Jamal Adams. He is. The Bears need help actually everywhere. I think they're going to be the worst team in football this year just based on what they have. I think Mike Glennon is not going to be a good quarterback. They have no receiver help. Jordan Howard and Jeremy Langford are good backs, but the O-line's not going to give them much help. Uh, the linebackers are good, but the defensive line needs a lot of work, and the corners and safeties need a lot of help. And if you watch Jamal Adams' tape, it's good stuff. Like, he's a solid tackler. He He's fast as hell. Um... He's pretty much everything you look at in a safety, and him and Malik Hooker going later, I think are once-in-a-decade type prospects. If you pass on him, I think you'll be very upset. Um, For the Jacksonville Jaguars, I think the quarterback is the weakest part of their team, but no quarterback in this draft's worth fourth overall. I think two are maybe first-round talents. Uh, the defense is really good. Um, they could use some safeties, and I I don't I'm not I'm not drafting Hooker to them because how solid the defense is and the defense isn't why they lost games last year, it's the offense, and that's why I have the Jacksonville Jaguars selecting OJ Howard. This pick makes a lot of sense to me. Howard is a great talent. Um, they traded Julius Thomas in the off season possibly to get Howard that makes sense to me um he can help their blocking because there's no offensive lineman worth this high but they need blocking help for Bortles a new weapon for Bortles to throw to uh jo OJ Howard he's the most dominant tight end we've seen probably since the most dominant prospect we've seen since maybe Vernon Davis so I think he's going to be a great player in the NFL uh at number nine again I'd be if the Bengals drafted him at 9, I would be ecstatic as well. Um, Tennessee Titans. This team looks good. I really like this team to win the AFC South next year. Um, they lost Jason McCourty this offseason. They got, I believe it's, uh, they got Jonathan Cyprian out of Jacksonville. And I believe they got Logan Ryan. They might have gotten Logan Ryan from uh, New England. 
But I think the pick here has got to be Marshawn Lattimore out of Ohio State. If he falls to five tonight, um, he's um, if he if he falls to five tonight, that's a steal. I think Marshawn, he's a great press corner, and I think that works great for the Titans, and that should really help their defense uh, get there. And I like them to win the AFC South, uh, especially with Lattimore. New York Jets. Um, Jets are also a mess, a lot like the Bears. They might be the worst team in the AFC this year. We'll see when them and the Browns duke it out this year. Uh, I think the best value pick for the Jets to take, though, here, because they need everything, and I don't, I don't like them taking a quarterback. I don't like Trubisky, and I want to see what Hackenberg could do, to be honest, or Bryce Petty. Uh, I like Leonard Fournette here. Matt Forte is not getting any younger. And there's no really other back, I think, that can help carry the load in New York besides uh, besides Matt Forte. And I think if Fournette comes in, he can help be the starting back right of the way. He'll help whatever quarterback they got there. If they want to take one in the second, that works out too. Uh, I don't love Fournette personally because I'm scared of his injury problems. And uh, I'm scared about a couple... Uh, I'm scared about if he really has the work ethic, if he wants it in the NFL from some reports I've heard. But we've seen a bunch of running backs go in the top 10 in recent drafts. I think Fournette might be that type of talent if he can stay healthy, if he really wants it. He's got the speed. He's got the power. I think Fournette can do it. Uh oh, audacity's okay, there we go. Sorry, my audacity froze and it is now fixed. Um The Los Angeles Chargers, man, that's weird to say. I have them selecting Malik Hooker. If he falls to second, that's a great pick for them. I think he fits perfectly in LA. Uh and with a defense with Malik Hooker, Joey Bosa, Jason Verrett, Casey Hayward, Jeremiah Tachu, um, Melvin Ingram, that is scary. That is a scary good defense, and with Phillip Rivers at quarterback, they could definitely compete for the AFC West this year. Panthers? I think Panthers are upset that Jonathan Allen's... Not Jonathan Allen. That's who they're taking. Sorry, I spoiled it. Uh, I think they're upset Leonard Fournette's gone, and they're going to take the best prospect available right now, which is Jonathan Allen. When you have Jameis Winston, Drew Brees, and Matt Ryan all in your division twice a year, you got to get a pass rusher that can get to him. I think Jonathan Allen's that guy. If you look him at Alabama, he is such a solid guy. Uh, the only guy who's really able to stop him all year is Forrest Lamp out of Western Kentucky. Um, and they they need to elevate their defense to get back to where it was uh, in, when they went to the Super Bowl. Um, and if they can get Allen, I think he might be the guy to be able to do it. Uh, now they just need to get their offense back. they got to get their offense going again. Uh, for the Bengals, um, in my last mock draft, I mocked Corey Davis uh, to them. And I'm going to switch it up here, and I'm going to surprise some people. I got them going Cam Robinson from Alabama. He's got some character issues. He's got some uh, Mary Jane issues, some marijuana. But um, I, I, like, um, I like Cam Robinson. If you've looked at him, he has beaten... And he has won battles against the top defensive line talents in this draft, which are, um, who, who are they? Uh, Miles Garrett, Derek Barnett, Charles Harris, some other guys here. Um, really enjoying him. The Bengals, Cedric O'Boy, he sucks. And I do not want to see him play next year. He probably will anyways. Hopefully, maybe we could slide Andre Smith to right tackle and let Cam Robinson develop at right guard, that would be ideal for me. And throw Jake Fisher at left tackle, uh, and don't let a boy he play, because I think he's trash. Not a trash person, I think he's a pretty good person. Just not a good left tackle, not an NFL left tackle. He's starting caliber. I really like Cam Robinson more than a lot of people. If character issues is your problem, the Bengals is the team for him to go to, and they need O-line. Because, uh, let's just say, uh, if, uh, Annie Dalton doesn't get his protection, 
Well, A.J. McCarron's going to get the playing time he's been complaining about lately because Dalton's not going to be lasting with this offensive line. Buffalo Bills. Um, I like uh, Tyrod Taylor and Cardell Jones, so I do not want the Bills to go quarterback here. They need a weapon for one of those guys to have, and my favorite wide receiver in the draft is Corey Davis from Western Michigan. It was one pick after I had him going in my Bengals mock draft. I saw this guy play in person twice, and trust me, he's good. He's a good guy. Crisp route running. Um, he's decent speed, not the best speed. Good overall player here. Um, with the offense, with Corey Davis, a healthy Sammy Watkins, scrambling Tyrod Taylor slash Cardell Jones, and LaShawn McCoy, New England could have a run for their money. Um, Saints, this was tough. I want them to go corner here because I'm tired of saying them saying, oh, our defensive backs are hurt. Don't worry. They'll, they'll be better. They'll, they'll be good to go. I'm tired of that. I want just take Marlon Humphreys, cornerback out of Alabama. Um, he's a good DB here. Um, I haven't heard if he's had any injury or issues with the law. I don't think he has. Um, another guy here that might work would be Kevin King out of Washington, but I think that's a bit of a stretch. I like Humphreys. He's got production from Bama. Saints need a corner. Go grab him. About to surprise some people here. Uh, the Cleveland Browns, second pick in the draft. I have them taking TJ Watt. I love Watt a lot, and I think he's going to be a star at the next level, just like his brother JJ. Um, I, I feel like if the Browns missed out on a second Pro Bowler Watt, they're gonna want to kill themselves, just like the um, just like a lot of the teams who pass on JJ and will pass on TJ. Um, I, I think TJ Watt is a great player. He doesn't have as long of arms as JJ, and he's definitely not the specimen JJ is, the physical freak. But I, I think he has the potential to develop and be as good, especially with a new defensive coordinator in-house. I'm not sure exactly what his name is on the top of my head. I have my notes here. I didn't write his name down. It kind of makes me upset, but, the bra- but I think... TJ could learn behind this guy, and he could maybe not be as good as Watt because I don't know if anyone's going to be the player Watt will ever be. But he's going to be he's going to be elite. I think. Cardinals. Um. I. I think. Reuben Foster could be the pick here. But I think Reuben Foster. We're going to see him fall tonight. And it's because, as a Bengals fan, character issues aren't a problem for me. But Reuben Foster's got some problems. He got kicked out of the Combine, which guys with character issues today you don't see. He had a diluted sample, like Michigan State's, or Michigan's Jabril Peppers. And he's had injury history. Um, not to mention... He, this guy's got Vontez Perfect 2 written all over him. Um, and I don't know if the Cardinals want that. Uh, they t- they brought in Robert and Kim DJ last year, and that kind of helped him out. But also you can see guys like Michael Floyd. I think it's Michael. He got arrested and sent away from the Cardinals. Um, so I see them taking Hassan Reddick here. It's a linebacker they could use. Carlos Dansby is not a starting linebacker. Um, I could see this guy. I could see him being the best linebacker. I think he's the second best linebacker. But he has the least risk out of any of the linebackers in the draft, I believe. And I don't believe the reward is going to be much less than if you uh, were to take um, Ruben Foster. Uh, he dominated at the highest level in college football. That's non-Power 5, the AAC. Um, no character issues. Not many injury concerns. I like Reddick. Eagles. Uh, I like Christian McCaffrey to go help uh, the young quarterback Carson Wentz. 
falls right into their lap. A lot of people see him as a top 10 pick. I think he's a top 10 talent, like McCaffrey. Um, I'd be, I'd honestly be surprised if uh, Panthers skip him tonight if Jonathan Allen's already off the board and Leonard Fournette's off the board. But I think this is a good pick for the uh, Eagles. And a lot of Eagles fans want McCaffrey. Make it happen. Colts? I don't know here. I'm going to say Kevin King out of Washington because the Colts' defense is awful. I think their O-line will get better. And I don't know if there's a guy to take here who's good enough besides Cam Robinson who's already gone. Uh, King, he's a big corner, big athletic corner who can help with DeAndre Hopkins, Allen Robinson, um, the Titans weapons. Um, and I think he'd be he's a good player. He's raw and needs to be developed. This is my biggest iffy pick so far, I believe. I don't know if he's good enough to go uh, 15 of the Colts. I'm going to say yes. Uh, Gary on Conley would go right here if he didn't have some uh, issues. And I still think Gary on Conley is a first-round guy. But I think the Colts will steer away from him, especially with Chuck Pagano on the hot seat. I'll have him take Kevin King, who could be a starter, especially when Vontae Davis retires. The Ravens? This pains me to do because I really like this guy the Ravens are going to go for. It's Mike Williams out of Clemson. They just lost Steve Smith, who I say is the heart of the Ravens team, and they got to replace him. Um, I really like Mike Williams. He seems like a little more raw, a little less fast A.J. Green. And if the Ravens can get like a half of what A.J. Green's getting from the Bengals, I think this 16th overall pick will be a wide success for them. Redskins. Um, there's a couple ways the Redskins can go here. But I got him going Mitch Trubisky, quarterback, North Carolina. Uh, I feel like Kirk Cousins, odds are he's leaving soon. I feel like he's getting out, possibly to San Francisco. But I think this might be his last year in Washington. And I think Trubisky, stay on the East Coast. Develop behind a guy who's a proven, who's a guy who can win you games, has great passing yards, especially last season. Um, he's got Jordan Reed and Terrell Pryor as weapons to work with. I th I think Trubisky, I think he's kind of the best quarterback here. I have I'm debating between him and a quarterback later on the draft. I'll keep you on your toes here, try and make you not leave. Um. But I like I like Trubisky here to the Redskins. I don't like him falling much further. Uh, Titans. Titans, they drafted a defensive need. I think the two best safeties are gone. And there's no receivers we're taking here. I don't like John Ross. I think he has bust written all over him. So, a second tight end behind Delaney Walker I think is the way to go. David Njoku out of Miami. He looks like a great receiver. Great guy to pick here. Uh, he can get better behind Delaney Walker. And when Delaney Walker leaves or retires, Mariota's already got chemistry with him. And he's a weapon for Mariota to throw to this year. Again, watch out for the Titans. Bucks, their offense is a mess. With that offense being a mess, I like him going Garrett Bowles out of Utah. Uh, he's my favorite offensive lineman besides, or favorite offensive tackle besides, um, Cam Robinson. I think the Bucks are going to need left tackle and right tackle sooner rather than later. I think Bowles is a great value here. And Bowles is going to start a lineman run here. Uh, Broncos are going to take Forrest Lamp. My favorite name in the draft, besides Jake Butt, out of Western Kentucky. 
he can he can be able to dominate in the NFL lamp. I believe he is the best guard prospect we've seen in a while since probably Brandon Scherf, and I don't know how well he's planned out. Um, if you don't believe me, just watch him play against Alabama. That that front seven, all of them are probably league players. They got Ryan Anderson, um, Tim Williams, Reuben Foster, Jonathan Allen, all going in the first round this or not for maybe not first round, but all going in the draft this year. And he dominated that. I think if the Broncos ever want Paxton Lynch to start, that's who they got to draft. Lions, Stan Local. I got him going Taco Charlton from Michigan. He gave Ohio State some hell when they played. And um, I think this is a good pick. Don't have much to say. Stan Local, Taco Charlton to Detroit. Dolphins, another... Another uh, player with some concerns falling right into their lap. I got him taking Reuben Foster. Uh, Foster is crazy good, but there's red flags everywhere. And they can keep him under control like they, uh, like Laramie Tunzel. We haven't seen him have any problems so far. If he doesn't have any problems, this could be the steal of the draft for the Dolphins. Giants. I think their biggest needs tight end. Two tight ends already gone, but I think Evan Ingram... Is that guy. I think they could go quarterback here. Especially with the uh, Eli Manning thing coming out. Excuse me. Um, however, I think... Um, I think tight end is the best thing to go here. They got great young safeties. Great corners. Um, hell of a defensive line. No linebackers worth going here, even though they got some good linebackers. Good wide receivers. Running back's a question, but I don't like Dalvin Cook, personally. Uh, has injury problems and character issues. Um, and their quarterback, as long as Eli's fine, I think either quarterback, running back, or tight end is the spot here. I think the best value is Evan Ingram out of Ole Miss. Great tight end, ready to compete. Draft them, Giants. Um, Raiders. I got them taking Buda Baker. I think the Raiders' biggest second or biggest weakness is their secondary, and he can play safety and plays for an aging Reggie Nelson, or he could play right away in the nickel. Very versatile, very solid. Good pick in the mid twenties for the Raiders. Texans. I like them taking Ryan Ramjick out of Wisconsin. Um, get old lineman. You need to protect that QB of the future, even if you think your off line's decent right now. You got to make sure to protect your QB. Um, I don't like any QBs here, at least yet. All of them need to develop behind a good quarterback. And Deshaun and uh, Deshaun Tom Savage is not the guy I want my quarterback to develop behind. Even with a guy like Bill O'Brien, who's supposedly really good with a. Uh, quarterbacks. I haven't yet to see it. Um, I also get to screw over Seattle, who uh, needs offensive linemen, and you play them this year. So hopefully J.J. Watt and Jadavian Clowney for you guys are going to have a sack party against Russell Wilson. Seahawks pick next. They're pissed Ramchick's gone. They're taking Dan Feeney out of um, Dan Feeney out of Indiana. I don't think this guy's a first round talent. But they need O-line badly. All the first-round talent O-linemen are gone. But Russell Wilson cannot take any more abuse. Or he's going to start looking like Colin Kaepernick. Um, need that O-line to get better. Feeney's where you start. Chiefs. Quarterback alert. I got him taking Deshaun Watson out of Clemson. Watson's my favorite quarterback in this draft by far. Don't think he'll go before uh, Trubisky, however. I could see the Chiefs trading down here. I like Watson. He l reminds me kind of of Alex Smith. And Alex Smith's a guy who can teach him. Andy Reid's a guy who can teach him. He could flourish in the NFL. He could take the Chiefs to a Super Bowl. Hell, a Alex Smith can take this team to a Super Bowl. Alex Smith's getting older. Deshaun can step right in when he's gone. I like Watson here. 
Cowboys. I'm a big fan of Charles Harris, and I'm surprised if he falls this far. If he falls to 28, Cowboys take him. They need pass rush. Don't love Demarcus Lawrence. Don't love that Randy Gre- Gregory is always in trouble. I think Harris here is great. Love his skill set. Athletic. Strong. Get to the quarterback. Steal by the Cowboys. Packers. Derek Barnett. Their whole defense can use some work. I think uh, Barnett is the guy to go here. Uh, Gary on Conley. Again, I don't know. I, I think you stay away from him till you're sure he's innocent. I have him still going in the first round, not to the Falcons, though. I think Derek Barnett falling. They're going to say, heck yeah, I like Barnett here. Most productive guy in Tennessee history. I don't love him. He's productive. I don't know if that means he's an NFL guy. He has come some concerns for me. I think he's a decent pass rusher, and they'll hope to get over that NFC title game hump with him. Steelers. I hate the Steelers. This 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 draft, this pick could be AF all the AFC North. It could be great for them, or it could be their worst nightmare. That's your real peppers from Michigan. I am much higher on him than I was during his college season. But the Steelers, they need an outside linebacker. They need a safety. They need nickel corner. And they need someone to return damn kicks so Antonio Brown doesn't get his head knocked off out there. I think he fills all those needs. I think Peppers is a good pick here. Falcons defense is suspect. Um, I got a, I got him taking Gary on Conley. I think a risk here is not a bad idea for the Falcons, especially if they get a player like Conley. I think Conley's innocent, and um, this is coming from a diehard Buckeye fan. If Conley's if Conley's not innocent, he should be locked up in jail forever. Is he's a scumbag if he does anything like that. To a woman. I I hope he's never near a football field again if he does it. However, I believe Conley is innocent. I think the girl is crazy. And if the Falcons can land a corner like this, that defense is one step away from being Super Bowl caliber. Saints again. I got him going. Tim Williams out of Bama. Really like Williams. I'd be sad if I'm I'm a sad Bengals fan again if he doesn't fall into the second. Really like Williams. He's versatile, can play edge rusher or linebacker for the Saints. Things they both probably need. And um, overall, I think Tim Williams is a good overall package that can round out the first round. Um, overall, I think the Saints got two good picks. So to end this video, we're going to reiterate over everything we just said. And um, tell you I'm excited for the draft tonight. Uh, we got Browns taking Miles Garrett, 49ers taking Solomon Thomas, Bears taking Jamal Adams, Jags taking O.J. Howard, Titans Marshawn Lattimore, Jets Leonard Fournette, Chargers Malik Hooker, Panthers Jonathan Allen, Bengals Cam Robinson, Bills Corey Davis, Saints Marlon Humphreys, Browns T.J. Watt, Cardinals Hassan Reddick, Eagles Christian McCaffrey, Colts Kevin King, Ravens Mike Williams. Redskins, Mitch Trubisky, Titans, David Njoku, Bucks, Garrett Bowles, Broncos, Forrest Lamp, Lions, Taco Charlton, Whew. Dolphins, Reuben Foster, Giants, Evan Ingram, Raiders, Buda Baker, Titans, Ryan Ramchick, Safeties, Dan Feeney, Chiefs, Deshaun Watson, Cowboys, Charles Harris, Packers, Derek Barnett, Falcons, Garyon Conley, and Saints, Tim Williams. So we're rounding up on about 30 minutes here, guys. So uh, thank you guys for watching this video a lot. And I can't wait to see how wrong this thing is going to be tonight. Um, can't wait to see who rises, who falls, and how the Browns are going to screw this draft up. So thank you guys so much for watching. 
See you next time, probably on a Bengals draft grades video. Again, if you listen to the whole thing, thank you so much. Drop a like if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment to tell me how wrong and uh, stupid I am and that I haven't been watching football long enough to do this. Don't worry, I've got it. So, see you guys next time. Have a good draft night.